Hello and welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop, your one stop for co-op news, reviews, and playthroughs. I'm Peter, and tonight I am playing through Marvel Champions. What's up, Terrence? Uh, it's going good. This is take two, so hopefully better than take one, because, uh, yeah, I, I, I hate this new computer. I hate it. There, There is a very strong chance that I go back to my other computer at some point here very soon. Well, my old one, the I, I, I removed the battery, <laughs> so it has no battery, um, but, oh, and I, I have you muted. Sorry. Now we have Terrence. Sorry. Uh, oh, no. I, I still didn't unmute you. Hold on. Now I unmuted you. All right. Now we actually have Terrence's audio. Oh, my gosh. This is How's it disaster. going, Peter? This, this is just, this is one of those days for you, huh? Well, yeah. So I've been hiking all day today. I literally got back super late and I'm rushing. I have never played this Nova deck before. So we're playing uh, an aerial deck. Uh, I've got Nova, you've got Rogue. I guess you're going to steal the Ariel from me. Uh, well, what is it? When you touch a hero, you become Ariel? Uh, ally actually is Ariel, but if I touch a hero, I gain all your traits. Oh, so you'll gain Ariel from that as well. Um, so we're going to explore Ariel today. Um, not the Little Mermaid Ariel, but <laughs> the Ariel trait in Marvel Champions. Uh, we're going to do that while we're playing against Collector 2. So hopefully this will be fun. Collector is... I don't know. It's very Lord of the Rings like, so I figure it's on brand for us right now, as we uh, as we've been playing a lot of Lord of the Rings lately. So uh, the point of this one is not to defeat the Collector, but to get all the threat off the main scheme. It starts with fourteen. You try to get it down to zero, so you can move on to the second stage. So you've been trapped inside the Collector's museum. Before you can escape, you must first find the Milano. Uh, when the last threat is removed from this scheme, advance to two A, and of course, if it gets to eleven per player, you're going to lose the game. Um, the collector is going to get plus stats equal to what stage number on, which is one. So the further in you go, the harder he gets. But if you defeat him, you get to remove three threat per player. So six from the main scheme. And then he'll flip over to this side where he'll have just two, two stats. Can't really hurt him at all at this point, but at the end of the round, he will flip back. So, uh, a another way to get rid of uh, threat. If you are not an attacky character. Um, we also have the Library Labyrinth here, which is hero action. Deal yourself one face down encounter card to remove five threat from the main scheme, which seems good if you are in trouble. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. Um, yep. Cool. So you built both of these decks. You said they are very well tested, and I believe you. So uh, I'm just going to gonna jump right in here. Now, I don't have any wild resources turn one, so I'm assuming I should discard my entire hand to try to get one, although I do have heroic intuition. Is How important is that? Uh, well, it depends on if you want to thwart for one or two. Uh, I mean, does it matter that much? For the first pass through the deck? Probably not, right? There's two in the deck. Oh, there is two heroic intuitions? So I'll get rid of them all. Well, you know, in theory that you could give me one or something. I mean, at some point, maybe I will. Ah, oh, there you go. Uh, connection uh, you to the world does not count card. toward your hand size. Oh, so that means yes. I draw another card? Oh, but I drew my helmet, which is sad. Super now, sad. No, you can discard it, though. You can discard it to pay for something. Ah, and then bring it back in play? Like, go for champions? Yeah. <laughs> probably not. Uh, but pro uh, it's a hero action, so you could not do that. So maybe Snow Guard. Yeah, you could, like, dump Snow Guard because you have power in all of us. I mean, I have two power in all of this is a problem, so it doesn't really help pay for Snowguard, does it? I mean, you, you also just, like, you're trying to micro, like min-max here a little bit. I, I don't know how much it matters. Uh, you're probably right. I'll just probably pay Connection to the World to play it. Um, yeah, that's fine. Unless you're trying to play Go for Champions this turn. No, no, probably not. So, <laughs> all right. So, we have Victor Von Doom and uh, Mary out there. Uh, she says, nice, no more buffering. Thank you. Smooth now, says Victor. Thank goodness. And we can hear Terrence. Awesome. And Terrence doesn't sound like a robot. I'm telling you. It, it, progress, Terrence. Progress. Slowly but surely, one of these days, we will be back to the quality we were like six months ago before. Well, it wasn't even six months ago. Like two or three before I got this new computer. And and the world it, is, is not going well for me since then, as far as uh, streaming goes anyway. Um, 
All right. So do you want me to go first since we literally just talked out my entire turn? <laughs> uh, yeah. Is go for champions removed from the game now? Yeah, removed from the game now. Okay, so I'm not even going to play it this early in the game. What does Snowguard do? After Snowguard enters play, place shift counters on her. Well, shift counters are here. Oh, so we want her to thwart, right? I assume. And give her aerial? Because why not? Yep. Yeah. Um, although I don't think she's using any of my aerial cards, but... No. All right. All right. So, I'm going to use... Do I play for justice? I guess I do. Yeah, why wouldn't I? All right. So, I'm going to use connection to the world to put my helmet in. Because my helmet is good. Uh, exhaust Supernova's helmet to generate a wild resource. And then... After you use one of Nova's basic power, I ready my helmet. I don't know how useful that's going to be. I'm guessing zero, actually, now that I look at my hand. All right, well, I'm going to pay for Snow Guard with two power in all of us's, which seems good. Uh, I'm going to put two counters on her, right? So now she's plus three to her thwarting. Yeah. All of which seems good. And I'm going to thwart for one, because that's what winners uh, do. Yeah. I mean, do you want me to punch for one instead? <laughs> like, no, 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 no. I just, yeah, you just have to, you have too much, too many resources. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Um, it, oh, I, I should have used my helmet first. Is that what you were thinking? But it doesn't, just doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter at all. So I'm gonna thwart for four here, and then I'm gonna pay for four justice, which I definitely have a wild resource for my helmet. I also have a wild for go for champions, so that's fine. I'm gonna four justice. That's four more threat. So we got four plus the original four is eight threat off the main. Yeah, eight off fourteen. Oh, so you already did that. Four, so yeah. Oh, we're, uh, yeah. so, what so as you can see, like he he really hits the ground running here. So what you're <laughs> like saying is we're just solo. gonna like blow through this mission. In yeah, true games. true solo against this quest is Nova Justice is just bonkers. Like I think I when I did my first test run, I beat him in th three turns. I like cleared. I didn't clear the first scheme on turn one, but I cleared scheme one, two, and three in the next two turns. Yeah. Mary said that's a bunch of resources. That was a lot of resources. That was a, a pretty strong turn one. Uh, I don't have nearly as many cards as you. Well, you have Ironheart. And team yep. building. Yep. So I am Ariel because of my helmet, right? Yeah. Yes. So... You could touch me. I touch myself. So now you are Ariel, my friend. Not that I think it's going to matter turn one. Because you're going to team build. You're going to Nova. Uh, but I do need it for a champion trait. Oh. Oh, you didn't honorary X-Men? I want to, but I think Dauntless is more important, potentially. What do they do? I don't even know what this is. Uh, it gives me retaliate one, which triggers off of like all these cards. Got it. That, but that's only if your hit points are equal to or greater than your starting hit points. Yeah. I mean, I guess I could hold this instead and just play. Don't worry about it. It's fine. You're good. But then you're like stuck with, that's fine. All right. Then I'm stuck with what? Is there something no, that being just... the X-Men would help me? No. Um, <laughs> no, there fine. is not. <laughs> and I guess I'll just do another. Well, do, do I just pressure threat here? Or do I start actually putting damage on him? Because he gets up to what, like a 5-5 five, five on stage three. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, we're going to have to kill him at some point so he doesn't just destroy us. Yeah, so maybe I just start putting damage because you clearly can thwart like a champ, right? I mean, I, I am a champion. That's why. I'm also a champion. Well, you're champion right now. You're fakey champion. You're champion wannabe. You poser. All right. Um, okay, being a poser. And, and what was that? What did you say about being a poser? I'm fine with it. You're, you're, oh, you said you're okay being a poser. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, so if we beat this really quickly, we're doing Collector 1. I already threatened you with that. So just so everybody out there knows. Um, stick around even if we do. 
Oh, are we doing the Kana Heroes standard? Yeah, and then I did stand. I did uh, in celebration of Secret Invasion. I have Scroll Invasion here as well. Nice. So we got scrolls in there, and we've got we're going to see our uh, Nemesis set potentially pretty quickly here. Uh, for those of you who don't know the Kana Heroes standard set. It doesn't have a Shadows of the Past, so we'll just have to drink anytime anything from our set comes out, maybe. Um, <laughs> it doesn't have a Shadows of the Past, but it pulls cards out slowly but surely throughout the course of the game. It's going to be pulling your Nemesis set out, which is kind of cool. I, I enjoyed that. And actually, with that being said, I'm going to give us a dice. I guess it could have been a coin. Um, but we'll do a dice, and we'll roll when we have to randomly pick whose stuff goes in. All right, so let's do collector. Let's collector it up. Oh, I should, guess I should ready my stuff too, huh? Uh, so you add a two threat. He is going to attack me for three. Oh, oh he I has a damage I, on I, it, right? Yeah, I, I did not damage Snow Guard. Uh, what do you think? Chump it? It's up to you. I mean, I feel like she's got another Thor to three in her. I should probably save her for next turn. I'll just take this to my face, right? Well, sure. I actually defend. Well, if you, if you block, you can't ready your helmet. That's the negative. Yeah. So I'm just going to take it to my face. So three plus another one is four. I'm okay with that. I also have a crew quarters in my hand. So if I, if we need to. So you're chumping. Oh, if your nemesis minion is in play, Oof. this attack gains overkill. Otherwise, this attack gains piercing. Well, oh, I'm okay with that. <laughs> that is one of the new cards, though, that would have put your uh, minion in play, your nemesis minion. So that's actually a pretty lucky break. That that's drink worthy. Uh, I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna drink to that. Uh, yeah, I was just like, oh, did that just get overkill? Because it feels real bad. <laughs> and I was like, oh no, I'm good. It's piercing, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. So like, oh, that's the other one. Whew. Now we're drawing a card. Ah, standard rivalry. Uh, you did you shuffle go. these, right? You got back to back standard rivalries. I mean, I, I mean, it, it looks like it is because yeah, yeah, the first one wasn't different card. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what the state of the game was when we <laughs> reloaded everything. So. Well, yes, reveal your set aside nemesis minion. Each nemesis minion attacks the player they're engaged with. If no attacks were made, this card gains surge. So here we go. My nemesis is Warbringer, who attacks for three. When Warbringer attacks you, he gets plus one attack for that attack for each card with the printed wild resource in your hand, uh, which is zero. He still attacks for three, which is not zero. Uh, yes. I mean, I guess I'll take you it. You need to block this for you. No, I'd rather you help me kill him because I'm not going to be able to do killing stuff. Well, oh, I got yeah, pot You have pot shot for four. Yeah. Yep, so it'll do what? Uh, that'll just do four. Yeah, yeah, and then I can punch for one. I'm just if gonna I take block it. If I block it, he does take retail one. Wait. But then, oh yeah, you'll still be at your no because you'll no, drop no. below. Now, yeah, don't block it. Never mind. Don't block it. I'm gonna take three. I'm gonna go down. It's fine. Maybe not right now, okay. but at some point, I will be going down. All right, so that is mine. Go ahead and reveal yours. By the way, another drink for that. Cloak of uh, Hercules, that doesn't seem even good. Attack. They have even attack, so I guess we get a pick here, and I'm going to give it to him. Well, yeah. I mean, because, yeah, we don't want to spend resources. We will punch them. Because he's, the he's a three as well, right? So. Correct. Correct. Okay, so you are first, though. That's true. All Don't right. worry about him. I got him. Okay. Um, What's the on roll? The on roll is the Thor. Ooh. Like, it's the, this is the, like, this is one of my favorite uh, kind of thwarting cards if you're aerial for me. It's just like one for three. And if you're justice player, it's like, for sure you have a way to do a thwart during your turn, right? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you usually, right? So yeah. Um, it might not work out. I'm going to lose crew know. quarters if I do Moon Girl, Pot Shot, and Yawn Roll, but I think that's the right call. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I'll overpay here. So what are you paying for? Southern Cross. You are Ariel. This tech does two additional damage because you touched me. Yeah, I retouched you at the beginning. I touched my friend. So I get all three things. Uh, oh, this you have does... retaliate. Yep, retaliate, the... Ariel, and stalwart. So it normally does six damage. So now it does eight. Yep. So I'm dropping down nine. Yep. Feels good. Now he's stunned. That also feels good. Although he's stunned against you, not me. It's fine. Yep. All right. What else are you doing? Oh, you have a crew quarters. Yeah. I if you want Moon Girl, I'll play my crew quarters on you. Okay. I I do want Moon Girl, don't I? And then if you stay, if you go down, that stun will be stun for me. I mean, it'll be stun for you either way. Right? Yeah. Uh, and then do I just thwart two? Sure. Or do you want me to attack? No. Warrior? Don't worry about it. Because uh... then you could you I don't know if you can afford Yon roll. You probably can, right? I was going to have Moon Girl punch for two. Okay. Um, but if you'd rather punch... It doesn't, oh, matter. It doesn't matter. It's me. literally six in it's one, two, half dozen in the other. Yeah. So go. So ahead should I just two. punch him instead of thwarting, or do you want me to thwart? I mean, punch him if you want. Like, do we just want to get him? Well, actually, no. Like, if I get another Southern Cross, I'll get him down to like one, right? Yeah. So let me just thwart. Thwart two. All right. So I'm gonna th thwart three more. Just the beginning of my turn. Let's just get that out of the way. And actually, we're gonna get past this scheme right now. Um, not exactly right now because I have to play Moon Dragon first. So we'll helmet, Vivian, crew quarters. Those are both mental resources. This is a wild. For each mental you use to pay for Moon Girl, you draw a card. So I'm going to draw three cards, right? Yep. I draw three cards. Oh, that's the second yawn roll. I don't need, I don't even know if I can do two. Oh, what's Jesse Alexander? Exhaust Jesse Alexander. Yeah, you probably want that. Shuffle copy of a connection to the world mark from your discard pile to your hand and draw a card so the, the problem is i can't do it this turn i only have one in my discard pile right now so it's fine i'll just do it next turn right sure it's just like it gets a two cost card out of your hand if you do it this turn well because i need to oh i might be able to do it let's see so i i thwart to yawn roll right when i thwart this goes up yeah you're one short of playing it though that's what i was saying so do i not yawn roll do i not worry about beating this this turn i think that's the right answer really and then i, I think can that's the right answer then, then you can heal then i don't have to thwart and then i can heal yeah yeah um so i'm not gonna get my i'm not gonna ready my helmet this is the only negative but that's okay then i can still play pot shot oh no i can't because I don't have any wild. You can still just not yaw and roll, right? Yeah, yeah. Like so you, I still you, have to do you, something. You, 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 just, just so I'm going to punch him, him for one. Yeah. And then I am going to, uh, which ready my like helmet. for pot shot. Which I use yeah. for pot shot. Does four more, which gets rid of him. Because that was necessary, I feel like. Um, now I'm going to hold yaw and roll. And I'll pay these two. Yeah. Uh, for Jesse. Yep. And I'm just store for two with Moon Girl. Flip down. Crew quarters myself. Uh, I don't know. Well, maybe I just hold Moon Girl. We can decide what to do with her next turn, right? She's not going to chump. Or do you want her at one just so she can, just in case we need to? Because I was, I mean, I got Snow Girl to chump for us. Yeah. Um, I mean, you might as well Jesse, right? So you can draw a card. Yep. So I get to search my deck or my discard pile to get that world something into my deck. And I draw a card. One way or another, max one per round. Search the encounter deck and discard side scheme. Reveal it. Okay, so do I hold yawn roll and or one way or another? I mean, it's not a terrible combo. It depends on how much you want to slow or fast play, right? Like, if you want to burn through, you don't. But if you want to, like, 
get you like you could get the thing that allows you to heal for four, right? Oh, that seems good. Yeah, I didn't like realize that side I had that card. From Galactic. So you get three cards. You're gonna burn a ton of thorning on it, but like you don't heal very well. So yeah, you can get up to five, and then you've cleared that, and you're back up to nine. That seems good. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna leave uh, everything as is, and I'm gonna draw four cards. I draw one more. Draw one more because I got one of those. And so if I use it while I'm on this side, which I can do for Miss Marvel, can I use it? Oh, no, it's a hero resource only. Yeah. But if I do it, then I can get it back in my deck with Jesse, which seems good. I just have to figure out how to pay for it. So we'll, we'll figure that out in a minute. All right. So enemy turn, we are going to add two threat to the main. By the way, let me make sure there's not a ton of discussion. Not a lot of discussion right now. Thank you all for joining us, by the way. Um, I know we had technical difficulties with our first stream, but uh, we appreciate you sticking with us. Okay. Um, you would get attacked, but he's stunned. I'm going to get schemed again. So that's three plus another. After this activation, shuffle this card into the encounter deck. So it's going to boost for two. Uh, so that's a total of five threat on the main scheme. Which isn't wonderful. Got to be honest. Not totally happy with that. Um, I mean, maybe I just snow guard to get three more off. That doesn't seem terrible. Right? Yeah. Um, all right. So take your encounter card. Boom, boom, boom. Uh-oh. Oh, oh th this is that one. Which one is that? The player who defeated this scheme may heal for four damage. Oh. Well, that's good. It's not three. Well, it, it's seven. bad in the sense that you want you wanted three cards for it. Yeah, so do I not one way or another now? Uh, alter Ego, Exhaust Your Identity, and the Collector Schemes. Well, that's not great. Three more, uh, four more. That's uh, not I great. The answer is yes. The answer is yes. What? Maybe you don't one way or another. I don't know. I probably don't. I have multitasking, which will allow me to yaw and roll. Remove the scheme. If you paid for it with a wild re or mental resource, remove two threat from a do you different have, scheme. Do you have, um, you don't have that one card, right? I mean, you built this deck. I've never looked at it before. No, no, no. <laughs> so, uh, no, I was looking for, I was looking for the, uh, my, uh, the like, you know, the the one cost superpower that when you clear a thing, you ready and draw a card, in his signature. I mean, you you obviously have it in your deck because it's in his signature. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spay, spend connection to the world mind, and both one way or another's, I believe. Sure. Either that or I spend my. Oh, I can't. Uh, to pay for Miss Marvel. But then I'm going to Jesse Alexander to shuffle this connection to World Mind back in and draw a card. That card. Unleash, Unleash the Nova, Nova Force. Force. Until the end of the round, each time Nova defeats an enemy or removes the last threat from a scheme, ready Nova and draw a card. Which is a great card. Unfortunately, oh, I do have... I, I can't pay for it right now, though. Right? That's the problem. Unleash the Nova Force? No. I, can, I cannot pay for it. Oh, before I flip up, let's go ahead and heal one. Then I will flip up. So You yeah. can't pay for it? I can't pay for it and pay for your on roll and multitasking, which is what I'm going to need. Uh, well, actually, I don't need it. I could thwart with these two to get it down to two and then multitask and not your on roll this turn. How important is it for me to ready and draw a card, though? Probably not that important. It's not that important. Right? I'd rather remove more threat overall, yeah. which is what I do from yawn, roll, and multitasking. So I'm going to do that. Uh, all right. So I'm going to use Unleash the Nova Force to pay for multitasking. Remove two threat. Oh, I do have this resource. No, no. You, you, have, you have helmet. You helmet first. Yeah. All right. So I helmet... Pay for multitasking. Yeah, because I can hold Unleash and Nova Force. Because it is a great card. So it's two threat from two different schemes. There's two from there, two from the main. Then we use Determination to Yawn Roll, triggering off of that. Remove three from a scheme. 
but I also, because of determination, I removed one from the main. So let's remove one from the main and three from a scheme. And then Moon Girl will finish that, taking two damage. So, do you, but do you want Yon roll back in your hand? What, why is that? How do I do that? Because you could actually burn Unleash the Nova Force to Yon roll one more time. Hold on a second. After you Before... pay an event, exhaust Miss Marvel and deal one damage to her to return the event to your hand. Oh, so I could return Yon roll to my hand if I wanted, is what you're saying. Now, how am I yeah, going to thwart you're again? Still, I think you're still in the window, right? So how do I thwart again is the question. You don't because you're still in the window of like you have thwarted, right? Because this is a response. It's not a like you haven't done anything. You've just responded to the event. Like like before you thwart with Moon Girl, right, right, right. you're I haven't still done... in the window of like after your thwart. So, so I you draw you on roll. Pave. And then I can unleash, pay, unleash the Nova, Nova Force to yes. yawn roll again for three. If you want to, yeah. Yes. Got it. And she cannot get back, unleash the Nova Force anymore. That that has been clarified. So she'll exhaust, or Moon Girl exhaust, take the last two off of this, which lets me heal for four. This is such a Terrence deck. It's so what? good. <laughs> all right it's such a terrence deck i don't know what that means snow girl thwart for three i mean nova is just ridiculous right yeah I, I mean like nova there's nothing bad about nova <laughs> like there's not even i mean all that felt good right neutral about nova um nova's just ridiculously good all right go ahead i'll see if there's any chat my, there. my turn's much less exciting um so why'd you make yourself a crap deck and me a good deck what's up terrence uh well part of it was just i wanted to do superpower adaptation to pull unleash the nova force out of your discard pile so you could play it oh nice um but, but unleash the nova force isn't as good unless there's a million minions or a million side schemes right it's yeah a, it's a good card but it's stupid against like ultron the way we had it because she would literally or he would literally just Poke one, draw a card. Poke one, draw a card. It's good if you can combo with stuff like... Like, if you weren't exhausted, uh, you didn't have to do that. Like, it would have been good because, like, you could have one way or another into another side scheme and, like, we could have actually, like, burned through potentially a bunch of them. Right? Sure. Um, all right, but uh, instead, I'm just going to do Southern Cross again. I mean, Southern Cross is good. So it's eight damage, stun. And eight is yeah. perfect here. Because honestly, we'd like to poke them for one, like when we get to stage three or whatever. I mean, and you can use that with Unleash the Nova Force. Oh yeah, I could poke them for one to like <laughs> to, to ready, ready and draw a card. Yeah, yeah, seems great. I mean, that does seem good. All right, so you're done. I mean, that just seems like good value for. Oh, by recost. the way, you gonna thwart for two or? I think so because that puts it within like uh, one all your like three three thwart things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Moon Girl or Miss Marvel, whatever. All uh, right. I will take your Moon Girl chomp if you're okay with that. Yep, that is fine. All right, ready up, drop. Nice. Oh, I got a connection to the world jobbing, so I draw another card. Hey, heroic intuition. Do you want me to put that on you? Uh, you can do it on yourself. From attack, prevent three of that damage. If you paid for this card using a water resource, deal three damage to the enemy. Or you could do that instead, I guess. I mean, yeah, I don't have to chump for you. I just do that. Right? Well, the downside of that is that uh, if you do that, it will pop him. And yes. then he'll pop back. Yeah. So it's probably not actually worth it. Because it's end of the round, he flips back, right? Yep. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, oh, we have to add two first, first of all. Uh, then he is going to try to attack me, fail tremendously. Moon Girl will defend for you, and woo! Uh, that seems good. That seems real good. <laughs> Moon Girl is real dead, but that's okay. Uh, and then we draw our encounter cards. When I turn the nana for the rest of my life. Oh, um, for some reason I thought these had victory on them, but no. Uh, they, when defeated. They do. Player who defeated it. They do a victory. Victory zero. May ready there. Oh, they do a victory. Okay, that's what I thought. 
Because aren't these in Collector 1 as well, and they go to Victory instead of going to his collection, right? Yep. Yep. I mean, it'd be, it, with one way or another, they'd be broken, dude, if you could just recur them constantly as you're playing through a thing. I mean, they're still pretty good. Uh, all right. So, uh, you have to flip yours. Oh, oh, man. Look at that. I guess you're not doing one way or another. You, where's that Unleashed Nova Force? I mean, again, I don't really care about readying myself that much. This is a lot of threat, man. I think I'm putting heroic. Oh no, you're exhausted, huh? Why are you exhausted? Oh no, I just didn't hit the ready cards. I think I'm heroic intuitioning you because you just have better thwarting than me. Like my thwart for one doesn't much matter. But if you thwart for two, that makes it just makes like that more impactful, right? Sure. Skilled investigator uh, seems good, though. Do you want it? Well. Uh, I'm second, so yeah, that doesn't necessarily make sense. It's fine. There's two skills in that deck, I think. So I'll put Pinpoint out. Pinpoint's good. And then um, do I just do Energy Barrier here? Or do you need me to Thwart a bunch? Thwarting wouldn't be terrible. I mean, how do you Thwart a bunch? Not a bunch. I can thwart for basically four plus the two, so six in total. What would you rather have? I'm gonna leave this choice up to you. Uh, I mean, the short term play is the thwarting. The long term play is definitely the uh, energy barrier. Energy, so play barrier, energy barrier. Just, just because when they get discarded, I can use pinpoint to shuffle them back in my deck. Yeah. So use energy barrier. Uh, I need to touch you before I can play pinpoint. Yes. I touch my friend. He yeah. gives me champion trait. Do, 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 do. I forgot to get my three hit points as well. So now you can take some hits and still uh, trigger your Dauntless, which is nice. Yeah. So what are you doing? Thwarting for sure. Um, do you just want me to do one of these side schemes? Uh, probably. Philosopher's Stone is probably the more important of the two, for what it's worth, right? Draw two cards seems good. Yeah. No, no the Amplify Icon. Well, I mean. both are very good. So, getting rid of Amplify and getting a bunch of cards. All right. Yeah. So basically, so pinpoint you can do anything, or I'm just gonna hold on them for now. I think. Or in um, case you get some random splash somehow. Um, I'm going to double light speed or light speed flight to remove six. That seems right, right? If you... Um, and heroic intuition myself, then I thwart for two. Yeah, if you heroic and then you light speed, you can clear that. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, force field projection. I think I'm just going to get rid of it in one way or another. Yeah, so I'm going to pay two to heroic intuition myself. I'm going to get Skilled Investigator. Because that'll let me draw cards also. Uh, so I thwart for two. Let's take two off of Philosopher's Stone. Uh, do you want to use Helmet first before you did that? You are correct, sir. I do want to do I that. mean, just Light Speed first, right? Yeah. So I Light Speed, and then I get it back with Miss Marvel. So using yeah. Helmet, draw it back into my hand. Uh, so that takes three off. Then I thwart for two, readying my helmet, getting rid of this. That does that that triggers trigger several man. things. First, I draw two. And then second, I have skilled investigator. So I exhaust it to draw another one. Now, connection to the home world doesn't count as part of my hand, but it does count as me drawing two cards, right? Yes. Here you go. You're welcome. Um, exhaust champion's bunker, choose an identity with champion trait. That player who controls the identity may draw two cards, then just two card two cards. Okay, well, I'm just gonna play it, right? Yep. Um, but any of us can can get this, because you'll have champion trait the whole game. And then I use my helmet to thwart for three more. Mainer start working on this thing. 
That's up to you. Um, I'll just do main. Right, because that's how we lose and win. It's like, yep. I'll get to that eventually. You know my thoughts on acceleration icon. It takes seven turns for it to pay for itself. <laughs> so, well, but now it's like you get two card draw out of it. No, no, no. Uh, oh, well, we each get a card draw. Because it's, it's a side scheme, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I should be able to get rid of it next turn, hopefully. All right, we good? Yeah. I'm drawing five, which actually decks me. I mean, it seems good. Decking seems good? Uh, yeah, you get all your cards back. That you, like all those speed, speed flight, light speed flights. And I do have an Unleashed the Nova Force, by the way, so... This will be the turn to poke him to remove threat from the main scheme. Will that also do it? Yeah, because it's when you defeat when you defeat or remove the last threat, so it counts. And then if I defeat this thing too, wow. All right, yeah. we will see. But unleash the Nova Force is a good card. It's probably too good. <laughs> All right, so three on the main. What else are we doing? Uh, I'm getting hit in the face. Are you gonna, you want me to miss Marvel? Well, you're the protection player. Do you have nothing for that? Uh, not in my hand right now, no. Do you want me to defend for you and then just take the punch to the face myself? Uh, no, it's fine. I'm sitting at uh, nine. I'm, I'm okay. Do I just... I don't need to be ready. Do I just defend this? Yeah, you probably defend it. Like, you... Like... I don't know if my two thwart to attack is going to make or break the world, right? No, probably not this turn. Yeah, all right. Uh, and I assume you're going to energy barrier, probably. Give collector yeah. tough status, which you pink right off with energy barrier, right? Yep. Uh, so he does hit you for four total. You block, block two of that, and then the third and one is one energy that, barrier. So I take one, and so he takes re. Oh, but this pops him, actually. No, no, no. He gets tough. So it pops is tough. Oh, uh, then that means I don't want to use energy barrier. Why? Because I've retail one. Yes. Got it. So take an extra damage. So the yeah. retail pops the. Yep. Yeah. Because you're still above your starting threat value. Yeah. Okay. Um. So now I get punched in the face and I'm just taking it. So three plus two is five. Go ahead and draw oh. a card. Boom, boom, boom. One reveal. Reveal your set aside Nemesis Minion. The villain attacks your hero. If your Nemesis Minion is in play, do not give the villain a boost card. Well, yay. I will block this for you. This sucks. I'll block for you. Toughness. Yeah, this villainous. sucks because of uh, other things. After Mystique engages, what? You search the encounter deck and draw pile for a set aside area for a copy of misled treachery and shuffle it into your deck uh they're only here right yeah all right i will block the collector's attack on you or do you want to oh no it's three yeah i'll block it all right and we got to pray to God here, actually. Pinpoint might have to chump because if I get attacked, I'm dead. Yeah. So. One revealed. Two allies with the highest attacks simultaneously deal damage to each other equal to their attack. Just no. Surges. What? That just surges. We don't have two allies because you chumped. Yes. Insight one. Uh, when revealed, you're confused. If you're already confused, choose to discard a card you control. Now, because I'm confused, if I exhaust to get rid of it, that doesn't ready my helmet, right? Yep. And that also doesn't let me unleash the Nova Force very well. Yep. So we'll have to figure that out. Uh, treat each ally as a scroll minion. Wait, you dog. You put that, I forgot about this. Treat each ally as a scroll minion with a blank text box. Attach minion's scheme is equal to its printed thwart. 
and does not take consequential damage. When revealed, attached to the ally with the highest attack, attached ally engages the controller. So, pinpoint now a scroll. Thanks. Hey, you're the one who put scroll jobbings in there. So that's from last year's um, Kana Heroes, and then the this new standard or the rivalry standard. We're well, on the plus side, it's a two hit point thing from the Shinova Force. I don't punch for two though. I only punch for one. How do I get more punchiness? That's my problem right now. Now, so let me read on at least uh, until the end of the round. Each time Nova defeats an enemy or removes the last threat. So how exactly does this work? Oh, when I defeat him, I'm going to remove the last threat at the exact same time, which would not be great, right? Yeah. So how does this work? So if I remove it anyway, right? So it includes pot shot and includes lots of stuff, I assume. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to start with pot shot. Or no, I'm going to start with Unleash the Nova Force, right? I can't pay for all this. I just can't. Well, I will be drawing cards. Actually, I don't cards? need to pay for oh, that with a ready. wild. So I'm not going to pay that for that with multitasking, I guess. Wait, wait, wait. wait. But if you um, get rid of your Confuse, yes. can you then clear threat off of enough off of something to then have unleash the nova force trigger what 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 could i thwart that's five so it's not enough no i mean with my two it would be but i have to clear my confused yeah i don't think it's gonna happen buddy hold on hold on i, I think unleash uh... nova force isn't great this turn for me I, how am I going to pay for all this? Like, I want to get Ironheart out too, right? Do, do you think I should Champions Mobile Bunker and see if I get some resource cards? Like, do you have double resources in here? I didn't see any. Did, no, you don't, you don't need double resources, really. You, you, generally you pulled the Peter? <laughs> no, I just generally, they're not wilds either, right? So Yeah, that's true. So um, are we not unleashing the multi uh Nova Force again? How how much does it help you to unleash Nova Force if you don't have to pay for it? Well, here's the thing. If I unleash the Nova Force, I kill Collector, which readies me. And removes all six from here. Right? So I could have paid for it with Supernova's helmet. Correct? Mm-hmm. And then I could probably, between pot shot or between yaw and roll and multitasking, I can get rid of this, right? Maybe? No, because the problem is, again, so I could pot shot one of these guys to ready myself again, right? Yeah. So so let's okay, so let's just start let, this. Put, put, let's let's put this on the table. What if you use unleash the Nova Force to pay for something and then I play it? How much does that help you? I don't know that it does. Cause is it oh it works for me when you play it. Cause yes. here's the thing. I just exhaust my helmet to pay for it, and then I punch or right so now it's on the table and then i punch and everything readies up anyway right or when i punch this readies when i kill i ready is that correct yeah okay yeah so that's fine i punch to kill the collector flip him over remove six which gets rid of this so let's see what happens here 
When revealed, put the set aside Milano support from ship's commander and counter set into play under first player's control. That actually might be very good. Uh, that's over here. Milano. Yeah. Let's make this big. Well, now it's why? Why are these here? I can't. I'm. I don't know. I came from the thing. Yeah. yeah. No. 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 That's fine. All right. All right. So I control the Milano. Can we use it for anything? We Anyone still, can use it. We could have removed five at any point, by the way, from the main. Okay, so I ready up and I draw a card, by the way, for Unleash the Nova Force. Now having the Milano, I think, helps. Also having wild... I mean, that's a wild resource. That's a wild resource. So I've got some stuff now. Um. Oh, how much threat does this get? Uh, it's going to get 11 per player. 22? Yeah, 22. That's a lot. Yeah. And it goes away at 15 per player. So I got to start working on this now. I could even do this if I need to. So let's for sure multitasking, right? Or or do I do, do I try to get Ironheart out first? I feel like Ironheart would be nice. Because then we both draw a card, right? Oh, no. I Just I draw a card. No. Just you draw a card. But you could use to like pluck the tough off of stupid mystique. Okay. So I'm gonna pay two to play Ironheart. I will do as you say and pluck the tough off of Mystique. Man. Then I feel sad for defending now. I'm gonna pot shot pinpoint. Right? Oh, no, no, no. No, I only punch for one. Wait, pot shot's four? Yeah. Four on Mystique would be nice, but I don't know if that... How we well, get the other two. Can you not get the other two? I mean, I could do one of them at some point, but... I was going to do that, I mean, so I, I ready and draw up, right? So that means I need to thwart first. So I'll thwart to get rid of Confused. If I pot shot pinpoint, which I just did, now, oh, when I, oh, but that doesn't ready my helmet when I get rid of confused, right? No. Okay, but I'm about to ready up because I pot shotted pinpoint. All right, so pinpoint's dead. Now I ready up and draw a card because of Unleash the Nova Force. So now I could probably get rid of this. Uh,. So I'll thwart for two, which readies my helmet off of this. And then I multitasking and yawn roll, and that'll get rid of the rest. So I do this to pay for multitasking. That's two and two, right? Yep. Then I pay for yawn roll with multitasking, which removes the last three. Uh, uh, may ready their identity. Oh, I ready anyway. Because of Unleash the Nova Force. Did you want me to leave that for you? Well, no. Ah. Oh, well. So I ready, and I draw a card. And I... Oh, no, I don't ready that. So this is gone. I draw a card as well. Oh, that's right. Skilled Investigator. I draw another card. Do I hold projection field or do I give you heroic intuition? I think you just play heroic intuition, right? Yeah, I give it to you. All right. Um, so I could thwart for two more off me. Unless you need me to poke. Wait, by the way, this is gone. Yeah. Uh, I'll t did I just take two off me? I think I did. It was a 22, I believe. Uh, when I do that, I ready my helmet. I pay my helmet and that to give you heroic intuition. Doesn't it, it's down at 18 because you multitasked, didn't you? Yes, I did. Multitask takes it down to 20. And then you're right. And then you thwarting thwarts you. You're right. Thwarts it you're right. To more. Yep. You are correct, sir. All right. Um, what's the play here? Mary says, I love Ever Vigilant, one of my favorite 
ever protection cards. I All like right, putting death right. focus on in Nova decks just for unleash the Nova Force. So which one's death focus? Those one I just played. Uh, exhaust death focus, reduce the cost of the next superpower card you play this turn by one. Yeah, I know a lot of people like to do that. Um, I have a tough time putting a card in for two cards in your deck. I mean, I know you can cycle pretty quickly with Nova, but... I mean, unleash, at least the Nova Force is Nova's best card, to be fair. But you, but it's like one card to reduce the cost of one. Well, force field projection also. You can't use it on... You can't use it on force field production. Because it's an action. It's, yeah. It's an action. Yeah, it's not a resource. And you basically never want to really use it on all of your other cards that are superpowers because you'd rather use a wild, right? Yeah. It's like... I mean, if you don't have a wild, but yes, I get it. Uh, so it's, what is uh, ever vigilant? What's the, uh, Mary says it's one of her it's... favorite protection cards. This card. Hold on. I'm sorry. Let me, uh, I mute found it. my phone. Ready your hero and remove two threat. Yeah, it's pretty stinking good for Ariel. And that's what we're talking about at the end, by the way, for our discussion. We're going to talk about Ariel cards and what they all are and how good they are. So we're going to have to figure out a way to pull them out pretty quickly. Uh, all right. I kind of want... I mean, do I pull out your... Is it worth it? I mean, you may want to pull out force field projection. I could pull out pot shot. Or pot shot. Deal four damage. I mean, that seems good. How are you going to get the last two, though? I can't this turn. Um, No, I think instead I'll just do going rogue. So what's going rogue? Remove three threat from a scheme. If rogue has aerial, two additional threat. Confuse and draw a card. Wait, are you not going down then? Hold on. Did you I am have... going to go down. Oh, you are going to go down. Okay. But I'm going to um, I'm gonna Can... go down, but I'm going to confuse Mystique because she's villainous. And then we know this is only two. Yeah. Right? Like, you know it's only two threat. Wait. You boost it still, right? What? Why is it only two? You boost it. Oh, yeah. You still boost. Uh, yeah. Let's do him. Confuse him. We're right. Yeah, because that's it's still one more. Uh, yeah, so five off of main. Seems good. Confuse him, and I draw a card. I definitely want that. And you're going down this turn, so you can play it. Yeah, but I think uh, I should Hold play armor, turn. right? Yeah. Hold it for next turn. I, I, I'm like, I'm like, uh, everything's like one off. Like I have this double energy <laughs> and it's like, but I, armor only cost me one. Yeah. I use it for armor. Oh, because of, uh, team building, team building or where is team yeah. building? Yeah. That's all good. Uh, well now you don't have it. See, you did it the right way. You flip down first. So team building becomes ineffective. <laughs> oh, you get your touch back. I probably should have gone down with my four health. I can't crew quarters you, right? Or can you? No. So I it's have not to be in front down. Of me, so I can't use it. It has to say stuff like uh, what Champions Bucker does. Yeah. By the way, did you want to? Are we ever I mean, going to use Champions, Bunker? Champions Bunker? But it's fine. All right. I did my turn. It's too late. All right. So let's ready up. Draw. Uh, yeah, we we have two chumps here. Like there's um. I don't draw six. Bucks. Armor and Ironheart, so I think we'll be kind of okay. Yeah, I've got some, I got some stuff here. All right, so we're adding two threat to the main. Uh, they're gonna attack me for two. Plus Ironheart's gonna block. If your nemesis minion is in play, you're confused. Otherwise, place a threat on the main scheme. I'm okay with that. I think we're okay with that. Oop. Sorry. Uh, all right. That was only two damage. Still beats Ironheart, though. <laughs> uh, all right. So now thwarting, confused, but yeah. you're 
villain thwarts for three plus. Your nemesis may use in play. You are confused. Mm, whatever. So you it's are very easy for me to get stalwart. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. Um, but she only thwarts for one. Or schemes for one. Which seems good. Yeah. All right. Oh, you forgot to draw. Uh, so yeah. encounter cards. Surge, exhaust your identity. Well, that's a kick in the Oh, team. can you put two threat on the uh, main scheme for misled that I drew? Yeah. Oh, where's your misled? The, it's like scumbag mystique. Uh, when revealed, shuffle this card into your deck. This card gains surge. Oh, that's if it's revealed from the deck. For response, after this card enters your hand, place two threat on the main scheme. You may discard this card from your hand at the end of your player phase, like any other card, and then it goes back to the villain deck. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, so Mystique schemed. Go ahead and get your encounter card. Uh, mine surged and exhausted me. When revealed, discard the lowest cost upgrade or support you control. Reveal a random card from your set aside Nemesis set. That's so, skilled. skilled investigator. Thank God. Not my Nova helmet, which would have been terrible. Although no, nah, but you still got like crew cores and other stuff. You could yeah, ditch. Yeah. yeah. So wait, why are there only three in there? Where's the fourth one? Oh, my scheme. Is this it? Yeah. Did it say reveal it or what? Uh, yeah. That is terrible. I gotta discard something and reveal something. One revealed. You may spend a wild resource. If you do not, the villain and Warbringer each attack you, even if you are in alter ego form. Yeah, I'll spend my... Do you need me to, to do what? something there? No, I use my helmet. Okay. So it does nothing, right? Yep. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's right. not fine. It's terrible, but... like. I mean, because I, I could block with armor if you really wanted. No, it's... I don't fine. know how much that impacts your turn. No. Okay. Insight one, you're confused. Choose and discard one card. Well, I will discard misled. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Which would have been discarded anyway. Yeah. Perfect right. timing. Perfect timing. Yes. All right. So you're good? I am good. So you're first player? Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Do it. Do I oh, wait, wait, this works, by the way. Yeah, and then he gets 20 health again. I feel like it's like uh, kind of like mini Sinister Six villain health size. It is. Whoa. Yeah. Um, it is mini uh, Sinister Six, but still good. Flip. I guess I touch you. Does that make you still get rid of this? Yeah, get rid of this junk. You touch a hero? Yeah. Oh wait, no, no. Before I do that, uh, put Plex Gene into play. Yes. Yeah. Um, one, two. Buckle my shoe. I mean, I get. I feel like it'd be nice to stun the villain, but I mean, you just kill Mystique, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So you got to pay one more? Yep. I'll take my card draw. How much does anything in your discard pile help? Not really, right? No, unfortunately. Like, Unleash doesn't really help you unless you one way or another. Right? Right. Are you going to one way or another? Probably not. Just what to... side themes are you? Oh, left did you use a Milano? You can use a Milano no. to ever vigilant, by the way. And you thwart for three, with... so you could I, remove. I, I, can, I, I, can, I can ever vigilant without it. Because it's Ariel. I'm Ariel, so I can team building it. So, but you, this is only for you, right? Nope. Oh. Um,. So should I one way or another right now, then? Yeah, that was my question. Should we do that? I mean, yeah, with you having all that thwarting, or do we just try to win? 
Like that's a very viable option as well, right? <laughs> like yeah, just say forget all that stuff and just go. Let's go for the win. Um, because we started basically an hour and a half late tonight. It's already almost midnight. All right. So eight. Uh, I'll throw for three. Another two. Ready. Another three. So, so eight. Yeah. So down to twelve. Yeah. Let's just go yeah. for the win. I don't even have my jacket, which gets me to fourth war. I mean, that would be nice. So, uh, yeah, you have Milano for you. I don't moon girl, right? Because that would get not? rid of light speed. No, you can use one. What? Why are you exhausted? Because I got exhausted by my stupid treachery card. One, two, three is three mentals. One way or another, and light speed, right? And Milano. Yeah, so, and then I save determination. I mean, well, I, I guess, yeah, if you. So, one, two, three. Pays for Moon Girl. I draw three cards. Because if you don't have Moon Girl, I, I shouldn't have rushed through it. After you play Moon Girl from your hand, draw a card for each mental resource you used to pay for her. That's a mental. Both of those were mental. So I drew. Yeah, draw I, I wouldn't have. I would not have saved determination for what it's worth, and would have kept light speed. Uh well, that makes you look smart now, doesn't it? Um, so do I put in Snow Girl or do I for justice? I feel like Snow Girl is a way better play, right? S Snow Guard, yeah. Or Snow Guard, not Snow Girl, <laughs> and put two counters on her. Or, or you just play, you just play Snow Guard and call. I it. think I, I just play. I mean, Snow Guard's real good. You know what I mean. So you get to remove one. So three, five. Down to eleven. And that's another five. Yep. Oh wait, does determination work? What? After you spend this? Yeah. Oh yeah. Just spend it for anything, right? Oh, so you remove the one for that? Yep. And then the five down more. six. Yeah, I think that's the right call because now we got chumpers. We got lots of stuff on the board. Oh. Hopefully, uh, I didn't forget to shuffle. Th there's the that card. Because I'm a moron. Uh, do I flip down is the question. Uh, Sure. I mean, it just. Well, I mean, he's going to. He has four base thwart. Just. FYI. Oh, and he's not confused. I mean, I don't need to flip down. Like I said, we got two chumpers here, plus yours. So, yeah. All right. I'll just ready up. I was thinking Jesse Alexander's good, but. Oh, by the way, go for champions for next turn. So if I don't chump this turn, we will definitely have plenty of defending next turn. Well, even if I do, we have Vivian. Who is also a champion. And you'll be a champion. Actually, we won't even need to chump. Because we will just literally all be exempt from damage. Well, if you chump with Moon Girl, I put... Well, I don't actually have a lot to play for Moon Girl. So, never mind. I'm going to chump this turn. Oh! I just, don't have, I just don't have the mentals. They wouldn't die from Consequential for Go for Champions too, right? Nope. They take no damage. Oh, man. So, really, that would be good to keep Moon Girl around. If possible here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because that's just two free thwarting. And Vivian will get two free thwarting. Well, if I can pay for all that. I don't even know if I can. Seems like a lot. It is a lot. Uh, but I do have a team power up. So yeah, I can definitely pay for all that. I just wouldn't get you on roller for justice potentially. <laughs> Or definitely not for justice. I could probably do yawn roll still. Yeah, we'll see. Because that's too good, right? Like getting Vivian out, go for champions. Like especially you... if we if we pop him, if we pop the main scheme, he's hitting for five base. That'll be good to have go. For Can champions. you block for yourself this turn and and armor me this turn? I know it's asking I mean... for a lot, but realize that. I'm going for champions next turn for a lot of stuff for us. You know I what I mean? Can. Oh, you have Moon Girl. Are you trying to put Moon No, Girl? I don't think I'm going to play her. I don't have the mentals to make it worth it. Got it. In my hand. 
Okay. Well, you do have we do have a champion's mobile bunker, by the way, if we need it. Yeah. All right. So bottom line is, let's add two to the main. Then you are getting attacked. I guess I'm defending. Yeah, if you can, that'd be great. So he's attacking for four, though. Is that going to mess up your Dauntless? Yeah, but, I mean, potentially I can NG transfer or... Oh, my gosh, three more. So that's yeah. four plus three is seven minus your two. That's five yep. off. Yep. That sucks, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean... He's hitting for four base, right? Like, or yeah, yeah. whatever it is it's gonna it's gonna All hit right. me. And then for that. attacking. Thanks for the block. Give collector tough status. I'm not worried about that, honestly. All right, draw your card. I guess we just save tooth wordle and the chumper for future. Slayer's so ally limit is decreased by one. Well, th oh, that will suck in a second. Yep. Oh, but it's only two to get rid of. One reveal. No, it's one additional. for each additional friend of the character. Say so one, two, three, so it's four, five. five, seven. Oh, so seven. Well, that sucks. Skull Sleeper Agent. One revealed. Remove an ally you control from the game. If no ally is removed this way, this card gains surge. Well. There's so Moon Girl. You, Moon Girl. Yeah. yeah. Man, Skull Invasion, Scroll Invasion just... If that was reverse order, that would have been way better, by the way. Just pointing that out there. Okay, well, Go for Champions is not nearly as good now. Um, Still pretty good, though. Can you play Moon Girl? <clears throat> is it worth it for you to play Moon Girl? You have no. a wild here, so that's one mental. And then you could... Do you want a champion's mobile bunker real quick? See what happens? I, mean, I can. Go ahead and draw two, unless you don't want to. That's a mental. And double mental. Moon Girl seems way better now, right? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Energy transfer... Uh, that heals you though, right? What? Yeah, it heals me for two and does two damage and then readies me. I mean, superpower adaptation. Going rogue is a thwarty one, right? Yeah. That seems good. All right. Uh, uh, and then you get Milano this turn. So, wait, wait, wait. How much does it help to unleash the Nova Force? Um, I don't know that I'm killing him. I don't do damage. Right? I, I We will be doing this. So it's really just one ready and one draw. So it's two extra thwarting and an extra card. I don't know that it's... I don't, it's not necessary for sure. How about that? Would you prefer if I just killed the sleep? I would he only prefer hits you one, just... though. Well, that's true. I don't know that I care about the sleep rage in that. You much. almost rather just like not have him <laughs> like do anything like in the deck. Back in the deck. Yeah. I mean, at least for the next, you know, two turns Shuffle until all this gets shuffled. Uh, although uh, I'm sitting at four, I, which isn't. Great. Yeah, but if you do go for champions, I mean, do you just ignore skull filtration and we just like burn the main scheme down? Yeah, I mean, because I don't care about my ally limit now. So that's probably the right call. All right. So let's, I mean, you can even blank that with Vivian. Let's start with Go for Champions. So I'm just going to put it up here so we remember. Oh, yeah, because I'm not even taking the damage this turn, right? So it doesn't even matter. Yeah. Um. All right. So it's two and three off of this. Uh, and I guess I just pay these for Vivian or I well, guess your helmet readies. Oh, right. So I'll pay one for yarn roll or do I, 
So you're throwing for th- three? Wait, I'm the one who has to get rid of this. Is that correct? Why? Or, or to, to trigger go for champ? I, I don't have go for champions. What am I worried about? No, it's for unleash the Nova Force. Unleash the Nova Force. That's what I meant. But it doesn't matter because I don't have it up. Do you want unleash the Nova Force? I can no, make no, that no. happen. No, no, no. It's fine. So we put Vivian in. She'll take the last two off. So this is gone. You definitely have a whatchamacallit. Right? Card draw. Yeah. I cannot pay for your on roll, though. So I'm just going to hold it, which I think is fine. All right. So you're done, right? Yep. Oh, crap. You could do eight. Has... Can't you? Oh, no. You could do six. Uh, hold on. I don't know what I can do yet. Okay. Um. Well, Moon Girl doesn't take consequential either. Just a reminder. So how much? So I want to do going rogue, right? Which one's that? I mean, it seems good. I get everything except the confused, which is fine. Wait, why don't you get confused? Oh, because you're not Cause I lost anymore. my retail. So reduce by one. Let's do Southern Bell. Okay. Let's remove five off main. Yep. And draw a card. I mean, you could double energy transfer. Or did you already discard one? I discarded. Southern Cross yeah. is pretty good. Although you still don't get stunned. Yeah, losing Retaliate sucks for you. Oh, you could have mm-hmm. energy transferred one of them, by the way. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Can I wreck on that? Yeah. Get hell. So get rid of tough, right? I don't, I don't know when it was, but... Do you want to give them one damage matter. then, just because we don't know? Yeah. Because tough kind of sucks for you right now, but... Is what yeah, it is. I don't think I'm going to Southern Cross, because we don't need to kill him to win, right? That's true. So you're going to ever vigilant and just thwart like crazy? You, you have your jacket. I do have my jacket. All right. Let's pull Lightspeed out of your deck. You have it. You have to have it. Light speed flight. At any specific card, I'll exchange. It's a wild, so I'll remove three, which pops this. Okay. Wait. Um, is there any one defeated? No. Uh, no. So this flips. We get an acceleration token. Exhaust Milano to assign two indirect damage among players. Assign three indirect damage among players. Well, this turn, it won't matter at all. When the villain phase begins, we're going to take three damage or two, but we're go for champions right now. So it literally doesn't matter. So this goes up to, uh, I believe, 16. Yep. And then we uh, shuffle this in. Gonna shuffle okay. this in for the rest of my life. Dun, 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 dun. Let's put this out. Yeah, rose jacket seems good. Don't for- oh, you use mine. Never mind. And then let's remove two off of main. Ready. And remove a three. Four. Oh, four, four with your jacket. That's right. Did you yeah. wait? That was with ever vision, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, we should be able to get 13 next turn. And then Moon Girl's another two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we should be able to get 10 next turn. No problem. Because we're go for champions right now. So, like, well, there'll be 11. 11. Yeah, but we don't literally have to do anything right now, right? <laughs> like, oh, and I got light speed flight. I got two yawn rolls. I got an unleash the Nova Force and a pot shot for what it's worth. I mean, we don't need any of it. Uh, all right. So, three on main. Uh, so he is going to attack me. Doesn't matter. Uh, sure. So he would have done a million damage to me, but nothing. Cause, oh wait, go for champions does go out of the game now. Yeah. It's right. out. Yeah. It's 
once per game, but it's still so good. Uh, so now he attacks you. I mean, this is why it's so good, right? He would have done. Yeah, the fact that you can recur it, like seven. I feel damage. like there's a broken. There's I mean, there was like a broken thing with like Rogue because she could just pull it out of yes. people's discard piles. Yeah, and people were super sad when that was a deck you couldn't do anymore. I mean, come on, people. Like that's ridiculous. Like it's fine that that goes away forever. It is still so good for the one turn you get it for. I like that you have to decide now when you want to use it. Yes, actually. Well, this was a great turn though to use it. Like honestly, yeah. uh, the two allies with the highest attack simultaneously deal damage to each other. Uh, it surges. Why? Because they don't defeat each other. They don't take any damage. If no allies were defeated, you're right. Okay, I was like, let's figure out who attacks each other. No, no, no. But uh, so it's definitely Moon Girl, and it's definitely. Oh wait, no. Uh, it's highest attack though, right? So we could make it armor and make it not surge instead of Vivian. Sure. Right. Let's do that. Okay, so now it doesn't surge because armor died. Moon Girl takes no damage. Peril, you get to choose on your own. Yeah. <laughs> Exhausting the blood is he's good. Oh, he attacked me, by the way, for no damage. All My right, first so we win, right? Like, there's no way we can't get 11. Uh, let's see if yeah. you can get 11 yourself. Uh, while slight speed flight for three. Wait, what is that? I'm pulling Wait, what is this you? card out of your Oh, deck by the way, we forgot at the beginning of the turn to distribute damage, which go for champions blocks all that, too. <laughs> uh, I pulled light speed flight with super power adaptation because I'm touching you. Yep. So and three. Then, that was one of the reasons I put X gene in here is because with that wild, I can actually pay for any of your yeah. kind of things. No, that's good. I, I assume you're Professor Xing for three more, and then you do four. That's seven more. It's down to one. Oh, uh, yeah. Girl so I do four. <laughs> Right? Moon Girl, and Professor then, X. Yeah, Professor X. I mean, I can just move my touch onto him. Raise me. I'll do three. Wait. How did you do that? Uh, energy transfer. Oh, it lets Raise you move me. your thing? Yeah. Okay. Gets rid of tough. Yep. So that means and you then, did and four then, and then more, Moon Girl five, does six. Last. Yep. yep. Nice. All right. So um, pull out all your aerial cards. So yawn, roll. What's the other justice one? Is it in here or no? No, I, I don't think Agile Flight's worth it for five or whatever it is. Okay. So Four. let's look at it. Justice, it's an event. Yep. So Agile Flight, there it is. All Three, right. So let's put them all in five. one area here. Well, hold on. No, 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 because it'll go away. I try to copy it. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, it pulls them all back when I recall it, no matter where it is. Uh, all right. So we got Agile Flight here. We got Yawn Roll. So Aggression. Oh, Protection. What is it? So you're only using it's one as hot. well. Well, hold on. Again, it's going to recall it if you don't copy it. Watch. See when I hit Recall? Bloop. Pulls it from up there. I copied it. It's fine. Say yes, say yes, because I need to know. I mean, this has got some of the best aerial, right? Aggression is like what aerial is known for. Uh, Maybe. I mean, I feel like Ever Vigilant was the card that put aerial on the map. Well, actually. Dive Bomb is one, right? Well, Dive Bomb wasn't good when it came out. Well, right. It became good with... Like, would you run Dive Bomb without own technique? I don't know if you would. Uh, no. Actually, the leadership... I, I saw people talking leadership as well with Aerial. A aerial Supremacy? Yeah. That took a while. Like, there just weren't, weren't enough Aerial cards at the time. Is that the only one? Why are these all white? Oh. I'm only at 75%. That's why. Wait, didn't copy. All right. So, are yeah, these all sure of them? The only one. Is there only one so. leadership? Uh, I believe so. I could be wrong. All right. Oh, there's uh, there's one more leadership. One kind of. 
I'll bring sky it cycle. It gives someone aerial. I mean, yeah. I, I, yeah, that does deal with the aerial trade. It's not exactly... Because that was the combo, right? Sky cycle with aerial supremacy and like... Yeah, and then and then obviously like there's the allies who have aerial, which I'm not gonna do. But. All right, so let's go least least. Well, I guess we'll just go in port in uh, in order here. All right, so leadership is uh, attached to an Avenger. Give Mario, right? Exhaust it to ready the ally. Which actually, no, that have to they have to be a champion. I was gonna say with Gopher champions is ridiculous, but. So Cloud Nine. Oh, are you just showing her because she's aerial? No, no, no. She has a specific thing. Which aerial, aerial character gets plus one thwart? Oh, yeah, she like like good with I, I, she. She's more interesting than the fact that she's aerial, I guess. Yeah. Like, like if you're building an aerial leadership deck, like she's probably an ally you would include. You know, but she's good with players who are playing aerial. Mm-hmm. She doesn't need to have it herself, because no, it says but she obviously has it herself. Ally. No, 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 um, no. But she yeah. doesn't because you have to exhaust her. So she gets yeah. a plus one thwart, but who cares? Like it's useless for her. But it says choose a player. So if you're playing with another player that has Ariel, um, I think she becomes even better, right? Cause well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, obviously this combos with like all these cards combo, right? Like. This gives more stuff for Ariel, which helps air supremacy. Yep. Uh, obviously, the char- the <laughs> the characters that get Ariel, but then if you have Sky Cycle on that character that then got Ariel, like now they can use that th- plus one Thor twice as well. Oh, right? she's good so. with Go for Champions too, because she can exhaust to give herself yep. plus one Thor, and then with a Sky Cycle can ready. And well, you probably wouldn't give it to her, but like. Or you don't care that she's exhausted that much. You would give Suicidal someone who has more than two thwart, right? Oh, right, right, because they could thwart more than once. Yeah, it's like every character for that player. But if you had a third one, like, not likely, but if you did have a third one, you could give it. Yeah, I I think she's the best, actually, in um, Star-Lord, the Star-Lord deck that I have. Okay, do you have a Star-Lord aerial deck? Yeah, that was the one I was using with Air Supremacy when we were doing the campaign. Oh, yeah. Because, like, he has leaders like Leader of the Guardians, which gives all his Guardians plus one thwart. Plus one thwart, yeah. Is it just the allies? No, it gives himself plus one thwart, too. Yeah. So, like, you know, like, he's... I think it's just allies for him. Um, But, like, now all your allies are getting, like, plus two thwart with cloud nine if I yeah no aerial. that's real good all right choose up to x enemies where x is the number of aerial characters you control deal three damage so you don't even have to you just pay for that you don't have to yeah exhaust they don't your exhaust allies, which is nothing. like what's fantastic about it wow all right and you can team building it right so like if you're running aerial you get i think team building exercise is definitely like a linchpin and an aerial hero deck yeah because it because you can pay for these allies the and all the events we just pulled out right because they have aerial trait so Ariel, the only thing about this is um, you have to pick X enemies. So it's got to be a minion heavy scenario. Quote yeah. Unquote, so obviously it to be worth scale is much better in four player, right? Yeah. Or four player. Right. Cool. All right. So let's go to ever vigilant. Play on yep. if your identity is Ariel. Ready your hero and remove two threat. That's just really good for freaking protection too. Like how good is that? Um, yeah, I, I I think this is this is definitely the card that put Ariel on the map um, because obviously Sky Cycle existed before, um, but I think these four cards, Air Supremacy, Ever Vigilant, Pitch Back, um, Yon Roll is not bad. Yeah, Yon Roll came out after, but Yon Roll it was, for, it was these. for one cost to remove three is pretty. No, the, these came out after. It was these four cards. Get over here. Uh, these four, yeah. I mean, get over or here is four. real good too. Yeah, that came out with Thor, so that was a four. So you had like Sky Cycle. So if we're talking about the evolution, I guess of Ariel stuff. Yep. 
this stuff on the left, if we're going in sequential order, is what we had for Ariel, besides anything Heroes had, which I think the only thing Heroes have is, like, giving someone Ariel. Like, right. in the core set with Captain Marvel, you had Cosmic Flight, right? Um, Mjolnir gives him Ariel, and you're just like, okay, cool. Uh, and, like, Ariel basically made, like, for Thor, get over here, a card that allowed you to actually pull an enemy. So it made but it Thor felt like a very better, Thor but... specific card. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't it wasn't universal at that point. Just Thor got a little um, bit better. Yeah, and then you had Sky Cycle, which kind of gave allies Ariel, but you're just like, why do I care? You know, like it wasn't it just like was a trait they got, but it didn't impact the game, right? Well, but it let them ready. That was the benefit. Of right, but Ariel Cycle. doesn't like Ariel doesn't do that. It's just no, Sky no, no. Cycle does. Just but Sky the Cycle. Ariel, right. The Ariel trait like didn't feel like it was really a like, I think Get Over Here was the only card, right, that actually triggered off of Ariel. And I, yeah, I, I never saw Sky Cycle before Air Supremacy came out. Oh, Sky Cycle was used. Uh, there was, like, a whole, like, um, Black Cat, Honorary Avenger, Black Cat, and then you give her Sky Cycle because she doesn't take consequential damage. So you yeah. can, like, use her multiple times, and you can Voltron her with, like, Inspired and stuff. Well, the Guardian stuff, too. So Yandu, again, Yandu would be good with Air Supremacy. I never put Air Supremacy in or, or Sky Cycle in any of my Yandu decks. I don't know why. It's pretty Because he has to be an Avenger. They have to be an Avenger. So you have to like oh. play an Avenger hero or have someone who like gives him Avenger. Yep. So Sky Cycle so you is got Avenger. An honorary specific. Avenger to yep. make it continue yep. to Voltron. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That makes sense. All right. Air Supremacy, we talked about. Uh, dive Bomb. Playing with Identity is Aerial Trait. Seven damage and one damage to each other enemy. Four cost is pretty expensive for that, but the four cost became a benefit when we got what's that card called? Hone Technique. Hone Technique, which adds the cost of the card to the damage done. Now, yeah, this 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 so, just felt super expensive when it came out. Like I don't know, four for seven. It felt like worse uh, Giant Stomp at the time. Well, sure, compared to Ant Man, right? But Giant Stop is a signature card. We know signature cards are better, right? They should, as well, they should be, honestly. Yeah. Uh, but so 11, yeah. so now it's four for 11 because you add the cost of the card to it and plus five damage to each other enemy. And that still works yep. today, right? That still adds yep. to all the damage on the card. Yep. Now, if it has multiple attacks, it only adds to the first attack, but this is all one attack. So literally. Yep. It adds to all of this damage. Yep. Um, oh, excuse me. So ever vigilant, we talked about agile flight. Play only if you have the aerial trait. Remove a total of five threat from among schemes as you choose. This is still super expensive. Well, like way too expensive. Yeah, it's, I don't often include it. You're asking me like why I didn't include it just now. Like it just, the costs, I mean, like I'd rather just five have four is, justice. I mean, I get, but you could do what? Two for four or one for four. No, two. For I mean, four. maybe it's actually good in Nova. Cause it allows it put, it could allow you to set up like a really amazing, um, uh, unleash the Nova, unleash force, Nova turn. force turn, but she you does not want to spend to... three. That is so expensive. But yeah, it's just like, he doesn't want to spend that much or he, I keep saying she, yeah, I mean, yeah, three for five, unless they come up with a hone technique for justice, right? Where it, you know, it include the cost of the justice card, which I don't even think they could do. That's just, that would be broken too, right? Um, Like the damage. Yeah, and I think you don't just want to like take what you did in aggression and apply it to justice and vice versa, right? Like, right. All right, so then, so that was Evolution 2. So we saw Yawn roll today. We uh, talked about Cloud 9. So let's talk about Pitchback. Uh, attack after your hero attacks, deal four damage to an enemy. So it's very similar to Yawn roll. Yep. Um, Super great aggression card, though. Um, I mean, you know, like... One for four you can, is real good. You can, you can see it, like, these came in Nova's pack, right? These three cards. Uh, so height advantage... While your identity has the aerial trait, reduce the amount of damage you take from each enemy attack by one. 
when uh, when your turn begins, discard this card. So the discard this card part sucks, but that would be really fun against Voltron, right? Like, all right. Or actually, you know who else would like it? Thor. Thor with a bunch of drones in front of him or whatever else. Like, he likes getting minions. Yeah, we were talking kind of before this week. I think potentially you can make this work with Thor because he's the only one that can pull minions out while in protection. Um, Yeah, how does he pull in protection? Well, just because his signature card, he has signature cards. Defender of the Nine Realms allows him to pull minions out. I gotcha. I, I feel like one of the challenges with this card, because you do want minions, is that if you, like, say, play Vision Protection, so you can use his, like, Reduce by Two, uh, so you're essentially reducing a three, 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 three right, attack right. for every anything. You have no way to like get the minions in front of you, right? Like to pull them, right? Um, so you have to draw them. So maybe it's okay in solo, but again, like it's uh, yeah. I, I feel like it's the most situational of all of these cards. I mean, Cloud Nine's yeah. super situational as well. So I feel like the top two are super situational. I feel like the bottom two should be like, if you have Ariel, you should definitely have them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I think Honor and Pitchback really opened up Ariel for me. Uh, I mean, it's as just like a fun art type. Like yeah. it just feels good to pay one to get that much, and I and I like the cost of it, right? Like it's cheap, but it has a condition, right? Like you got to be able to do that thing. Well, you have where to. You thwart saw that first in your game, attack. right? Where like, yeah. oh, I'm confused. I have to figure out. Like I can't play Yon Roll, so like it's. I, I like that they have that constraint. I agree. All right, I'm going to go to our post stream page because I've been showing, because I wanted the cards to be big. Um, yeah, so Ariel's. Um, yeah. let, let, let's finish off our Ariel discussion. Um, so Ariel has become one of your favorite traits. So, what are your, I mean, we kind of talked about all the cards in Ariel, but do you have a favorite card or one or two favorite cards? Um, I mean, Ever Vigilant for sure is still like a classic for me of just, I mean, there's so many heroes that love Redding. So two or one with team building to kind of be able to ready and then also remove two threat off of the main just feels like good efficiency. I, I think like Spectrum was one of the first heroes that I used it in. Right. Um, because she can get Ariel. Um, I think one of the fun things about Ariel is it just makes you it gives you access to this whole kind of like sub archetype that's right. not like faction related. Uh, two heroes that have it, right? Like it opens up this door that, uh, and I think this is like kind of like small tangent, but just like this is one of my favorite things about living card games is like you can now go back to heroes like Thor, we've mentioned, or even Captain Marvel, or like all these heroes that had Arrow where like that wasn't a thing you considered like in that deck building when that hero right. came out, right? And now that this has developed into a thing, which is literally just, it's a trait, right? Like all it is is like text. And now they, now it has like, you know, a feel to it. Like this is what it means. This is what it does. So Thor's, and I, Thor's become God. really good over time. I mean, he was decent at the beginning, but become better. What would you yep. think about a Thor, like just ready Thor deck, like the quickest Thor ever? Like, faster than quicksilver faster than these other characters between ever vigilant he's got that card or if you have 14 or more health you can ready your hero for and kill you too or something right something ridiculous yep. for like one cost or zero cost no but, no the the limitless stamina is just a ready but ready for one you'd run death focus so you can pay it for free um is fantastic the and then ever the godlike stamina is the zero one so, I mean, you could have six of those cards, six readying cards in your deck. Yeah, right? and you can also, if, if you're Thor, you have access to Avengers, so you also get access to uh, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, which is zero cost. So if you have an Avenger ally, you can basically exhaust, exhaust that ally to, ready, to then yourself. ready yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just thinking something kind of fun. Like, I've never seen that or heard of anybody doing that so far. I think Thor uh, doesn't get Yeah, you also have access often. to, if you're running Protection... Um, one of the things I didn't really get to pull off in this deck because I lost pinpoint. Um, and it just didn't work out right. But like you if you're running protection, and this is where like that small deck size really hampers like all the cards you could put in there. 
Right. Um, but you have repurpose and tech and protection too, right? So repurpose also gives you ready, but then buffs your stat boost. So like you could get Thor up to like five, six attack, right? And then have multiple readies. Yeah, that seems fun. Um, but another, I mean, you go aggression, dive bomb, and pitchback seem real good with, I mean, even get over here for Thor. So those three cards trigger because of his aerial, and then you do uh, ever or that one that, that buffs hone, hone technique. Hone technique. Yeah, I, I feel like one of the tricky things with hone technique, uh, especially considering in Thor, though a lot of people do love to do it, um, is that uh you need mental to pay for home technique right and you just point to like say you run nine 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 cards like nine cards now that don't have mental well so nine cards that don't have mental plus you want lightning for him and yeah so his, like his resource cards give you lightning so you, yeah you kind of have to get lucky to pay for home technique or you yeah put so a, you a hella carrier you definitely need to like Quinn carrier. think about your deck con composition when you're including something like home technique. Yeah. You need a Quinn carrier for sure in there. Yep. Um, along with your obviously your genius, um, and hope to get lucky. Cool. Uh, for me, I, I really like yawn roll. I mean, I haven't really paid attention to this before. Um, yawn roll. I, I like the concept of maybe sky cycle with air supremacy and cloud nine. Just readying some heroes or readying some allies and using Cloud9 to buff their thwart. And oh, yeah. Then, it's, oh, by yeah. the way, I also can blow up some stuff with Air Supremacy as well. Um, uh, you could do an uh, imagine a Star Lord deck with Sky Cycle and Cloud9 and Air Supremacy. Uh, and then you just throw in Blaze of Glory. So you have a bunch of Avenger allies that you can ready. That then get plus two, <laughs> get like plus, plus plus three thwart twice, on that ally with sky cycle. Yeah, yeah. I mean that would be fun against a um, a what you call it, uh, hella deck, right? Because you need the attack, you also need the damage. So, or I mean, you also need the thwarting. So that'd be kind of a fun do it all deck um yeah no i i think you're right i think ariel has evolved quite a bit since the beginning and i mean they've done that with multiple traits too i mean ariel is the first one we're talking about but certainly i mean the first thing they did i feel like was use traits like guardian champion um avengers like they use the affiliation specific traits first but then buffing stuff like aerial, um, shield. I guess shield's even almost an affiliation. Yeah, the, those are all faction or faction like affiliation you want to call stuff. It. Yeah. Um, I think the two that have kind of aerial for sure is the one that's the most I think fleshed out. Yeah. Probably the other one that like kind of is is uh, like uh, it's not even a trait though. It's like the fourteen hit point thing is a thing oddly it's like not traded but it's like that's how the other thing they fleshed out yeah. that kind of transcends you know like gives you a different spin on like those kind of heroes like this is a thing you know this gives me access to this whole like archetype of like uh you know like limitless stamina the uh i forget that card um the one that gives you steady the two, the two cost basic card right um so so like they've they have a few cards in that pack uh in that set of stuff now um but the other one probably that they don't have a lot of other cards around is probably superpower i think it's the only other kind of one uh that isn't like attack or thwart or defense obviously. well with superpower you get discounts um from uh, Death Focus, right? Yeah. So there's that. Uh, so we do have a lot of chat. I'm sorry. My phone died, so I didn't see the chat. Oh. Um, but uh, 
let's see. It starts with Mary with the Avenger requirement on Sky Cycle definitely hinders its usefulness. Yes, although again, we have Honorary Avenger, but yeah, I mean, that's now two cards you're counting on to get on something. I, I still think it might be worth it for like a Yondu or a Bug. Uh, well, Bug not so much because if Bug attacks twice, that's not great for Bug, actually. Um, and now that Cosmo's been nerfed because it's got to come out of a deck where it's not all the same thing, uh, Cosmo no longer. So really, Yandu and Black Cat are the only two that Sky Cycle really works great for um, if you want to yep. make an attacking Voltron-y hero. Yeah. Do you still got to, uh, you know, get Avenger trait on both of those allies, though? Yeah. Uh, Mary says, I do like that with my Sky Cycle is pretty... Uh, wait, it was pretty event or evident that I was preparing for the aerial trait, uh, even if it did take up to Star Lord before it really started to show up. Yeah, so they they basically were preparing for aerial to be something even before it came out with that sky cycle. Uh, Mary says I still haven't been able to get height advantage to work. So which one was height advantage? Uh, oh, this one here. The oh, the plus one. to one defense. For one round. Yep. Uh, Brant is here. Welcome, Brant. Uh, I did Spectrum Rush. Yawn, I know. Uh, but it, uh, but I did it with protection. And she was unbelievably strong because she attacks for three and readies over and over. Uh, yes. So uh, protection. Oh, readying, as we were just talking about. with the, Yeah, Ever uh, Vigilant. Ever yeah, she was. And that you was, get I mean, to thwart. Like the first. Yep. I mean, for a protection event that lets you attack and thwart, it's so good, right? Like, I yeah. I mean, any hero that is super versatile, I think like Spectrum for sure is the, I think like first obvious one for Ever Vigilant that really like put it on the map um, because yeah. you can just be on the right form. So like, you can attack for three. Or thwart choose for three. rat ready, and then attack for three, or choose to attack for th thwart for three, remove two more thwart, uh, thwart for three more, or if you have a way to then flip too, right? Like you could attack for three, remove two threat ready, thwart for three, right? So like, she's really great because uh, she has such a versatile stat line there. Yeah, if only we could make Wolverine aerial, that would be. I want to. I want to see Wolverine riding on a sky cycle. So I can just ready the crap out of him, too. <laughs> Brent says, Thor doesn't need Dive Bomb because he already has Lightning Strike. Yes, but if you're going... I mean, I've never seen a Lightning Strike. Uh, it's probably not true. I probably have seen it. Do 11 and 5 is pretty high now. I've definitely right? gotten it up to the 5, but not the 11. Right. Like, I mean, and for 4 cost, and you don't have to count on having Lightning Resource. I mean... You build your deck around Lightning Strike if that's what you want, right? You do a lot of drawing cards or drawing enemies in front of you to draw cards, and you basically have all Lightning in your deck. You could do it, but getting it to 11-5, or I mean, you probably get it to 6 or 7, which might be better than 11-5, to be honest, because 7 to everything rather than just the 1. Uh, although one yeah, it depends on how beefy villain. those enemies are. The yeah, other yeah. thing that Lightning Strike has over Dive Bomb, though, is that uh, it ignores toughness. Oh, Brent reminded us of two other traits. Mystic is very strong. He's right about that. Uh, and Psych yep. uh, Psionic has potential. Yep. So those two we haven't seen um, flushed out. Mary says she wants to see Ariel Cap. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you can give Cap Ariel, right? Oh. No, you, can, you can't give heroes Ariel that have no way to get it themselves. Yeah. Um, I, I will Cap say ready anyway. With, you know, yeah, he does ready. But only once. Um, I will say Ariel still is like the most cross cutting trait, I think, that we have. Uh even compared to like like Mystic's still pretty limited. Like there's what only four? Three? Is it four? Three? Strange, Strange Warlock Witch and Warlock. And and Scarlet Witch, yeah. Um and then Psionic too, like we only have the one. Obviously we have some psionic Allies, allies out there yeah. um but even then i still feel like it will probably still it'll be like mystic like we're only gonna probably get i mean we'll see by the end of the game or whatever like 
if the game goes on for 10 years or something, like how many heroes they get to that kind of do all this stuff. But uh, just so many heroes can fly, right? So so I think um, yeah, nothing Ariel will probably touch definitely... Ariel for its versatile, uh, like diversity. Yeah, a number of heroes that it can eventually touch. Yeah. I agree. Um, Mystic, I was surprised at how much they put into Mystic, considering how few heroes there were uh, currently. There's only like two cards, right? No, no, there's more than two cards. Because you got, um, you definitely have... Spiritual Meditation Spirit? and Sorcerer Supreme. No, there's the other one that's a uh, defensive card. That, if you're missing... Oh, there's, there's the no one damage. in each aspect, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so there's an... That ar- Warlock came out with. Yeah, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. There's like, so that's six cards, which is yeah, a lot. Yeah, but th- those four cards are one ofs, man. Sure. Um, don't you have the one that you could search for an ally? Or no, that's yeah. I, I think out of all them, summoning spells the best one, uh, for sure. That's, that's leadership. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, I, I guess it's fine to have one ups because spiritual meditation allows you to cycle like crazy. I mean, but warlock can put all of them in, right? <laughs> yeah, but he can still. He also can only put one copy of spiritual meditation in his deck. That's true. I think spiritual meditation, spiritual meditation for me is like actually the best. Is my so which one? Card. That's zero. It's tappers. the zero cost that allows you to basically draw two and discard one. Yeah, if you're on alter ego, right? No, if you have Mystic. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, what Sorcerer Supreme? Plus one hand size on hero form. I mean, that's, I mean, it's great. That's real good too. It, it's great. It just it, uh, it, it's fantastic, right? Like, I mean, there's a rogue build that gets Mystic, so you can like get all that stuff. Um, but uh, there, there's something for me that like I love the like super cheap events that you can play that are high impact. Um, there's something just like very satisfying for me than just like plopping a expensive upgrade down. And you know, because those I like. are obvious. They're just they're they're obviously good, um, but you get to like do the event thing like multiple times, you know, yeah. in the game, and those feel great. You know my favorite thing, and my favorite trait: um, allies and cheap allies. Allies aren't a trait, man. No, <laughs> that, that's what I like. This was know. this was not an ally heavy deck for Nova. How how'd you like the Nova? I mean, Nova's, Nova deck that Nova's I... super good. Like we know that, like. <laughs> I mean, go for champions and um, unleash the Nova Force, the two of the most broken cards in the game. And he can use both of them easily. And he gets a freaking free resource turn one. Like a ridiculously good resource generator turn one. Like, he didn't need that. Uh, Brand says Sorcerer Supreme adds lettuce, tomato, and sour cream. Nice, because the Supreme part, get it? Yep. Uh, it could be or it pizza. Could be Supreme pizza. Pizza. That's what I was thinking too, which is like green peppers, onions, sausage. I think it's Supreme, right? Yeah, olives. Olives, maybe. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean Nova, like. I don't know what they were thinking with Nova. Like, uh, they wanted a fun of fast hero, right? Yeah, but he's super good. He's very squishy, though. Uh, I did in my playtesting. I did lose, um, not to dying, but because I had to flip down. Right. And in even though the th- threat is really high, and I had it down to like three. When he has like four base Thor on stage two, like, and he draws, like, he thwarts and then he draws an advanced type card. Yep. Which he has other cards in here that are things that are like advanced. Um, he thwarted for like, even though it was like one boost each time, it was like a 10 thwart swing, which like. Well, and to be fair, Nova has like the worst stat line in the game. Yeah. Like, I don't think anybody else has one one. Miss Marvel. Yeah, one, she's one one, one one, right? Yeah. Oh, well, hold on. Quicksilver. 
<laughs> one 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 <laughs> for no reason. Yeah, I mean Quicksilver can do something twice every turn though. Uh even when he's one one one, he's not as terrible as one 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 seems. And as soon as he gets any stat up, now he's doing two of the, you know that thing twice. Uh but yeah, Quicksilver's pretty slow <laughs> for a fast hero. Quicksilver yeah. only has nine life though. I'm pretty sure. Now he gets a free block every turn, which makes that nine life go further. But nine life still yeah. doesn't real go really go very far. <laughs> I, I I do want to play Quicksilver and run uh, that jo- Joe Doku strike in that deck. Okay, for and better see how defense. That pans out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, be able to get minus two defense when defending every turn. That seem. I feel like that will help your survivability a lot before you get online, right? Yeah. yeah. Cause that's what Quicksilver needs. I mean, ironically, we've joked about it a lot. He's the slowest hero in the game. Not really, but one of the slowest heroes in the game for sure. I mean, just starting out yeah. that one 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 stat line is so brutal. <laughs> yeah. So all right, Terrence. Well, I think we've had a good discussion tonight. I appreciate everything. I am super tired. I have had a very long day, so I'm going to call it quits. But thank you to uh, everybody who joined us. Yeah. Um, nice. Both before and after our disaster. So, uh, I mean, especially we've got Victor, Mary, and Brant. We're the ones who chatted in. So please feel free to chat in. We'll shout you out next time as well. Um, but thank you, everybody, for joining us. Oh, Mary says... There's some new interesting cards coming up with the next cycle. Oh, see, that's just teaser right there. And we will talk about that more next time. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to continue the teaser. All right. Well, turn- you don't even know what those cards are. I don't. I haven't looked. Maybe we'll start doing a news section where we go through some of the spoiler stuff. Um, I just feel like my unboxings are more fun when I have not seen those cards before because I get super excited, like for real, for reals. <laughs> Whereas, I mean, you'll forget them, right? I mean, I do have terrible memory. That is very true. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, great seeing you, Terrence. I might, I'm going to try to do a playthrough this week. I saw, I, I kept hearing about, uh, what was it? Let me look on Tabletop Simulator real quick. Uh, Massive Darkness 2. I keep hearing how good that is, and we have no playthroughs on any of our channels. So, I'm probably going to try to play it over the next week or two um, for sure. Now, this week's going to be crazy because we are trying to get prototypes together for Gen Con of our game, which you probably saw there uh, when I showed my games. Uh, well, it's called uh, something different here, but it's going to be called Flame and Fang. Uh, <laughs> we have a code name for it that is not Flame and Fang. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to be working on getting that prototype together this week. Uh, but I do want to play Massive Darkness 2 this week. Uh, I have not played it yet. It looks fun as anything. So have you played that one? I had never played one. Yeah, well, one it was apparently like a... terrible. Two is supposed to be amazing. I thought you liked one. I did not. I don't know anything about one. Is Baron? It might have been Baron. Yeah, Baron. Well, wait, wasn't there a game that you liked that you are telling me about that sounded like Massive Darkness? Something Darkness? Um, I don't know. Uh, Adventure Tactics is one of my favorite dungeon crawls. Um, Cthulhu Death May Die is really stinking good. Uh, there are two that are coming out that I'm excited about. Title Blades 2. And apparently Mike just today got a copy of, um, the Adventure... No, not Adventure Tactics. Uh, Battle for Greyport dungeon crawl, which I played several missions of and it was super fun. So, oh yeah, I have that one coming. Um, yeah, it should be coming very soon. I, I like that one a lot. Um, one of my favorites, actually. I like simple, straightforward dungeon crawls, though. The where you level super fast, and like what you do is super easy to do, and like it's all about just killing stuff and leveling up. Like for me, that is super fun in a dungeon crawl. Um, I, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but for me. Like, Adventure Tactics, each mission is only, like, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. And then you get to do the super coolest thing ever, which is leveling up. Because leveling is very much like uh, like Final Fantasy Tactics, 
where you pick a class to level into. Even if you're a fighter, you're a level one fighter, you can do level one thief next or level one mage or whatever. And if you get like level two fighter and level two mage, then you become a level one death knight if you want for your next level up, right? And you keep all your previous level ups. And it's just adding cards to this deck and you're just playing cards out to do all your actions. But each of the classes feels so cool and like coming up with combinations like thief and fighter to become a ninja or whatever is just really fun to do. Um, so yeah, that's adventure tactics. Um, but I, I wish they had a good TTS mod. They, they've never had a good TTS mod or I'd show that one off. I, I feel like I'm surprised. I mean, I'm not surprised you don't like uh, Medara, but isn't that like, the build flexibility, like, yes, but it's super like, complicated, right? Like, I don't know. For me, I don't want to. I mean, you know my taste. I like simpler stuff. I like more straightforward stuff. I want to play quickly. I want to level quickly, and I want to kill a lot of stuff, right? Yeah, you think I'd I like something like Zombicide, but I don't because the balance is so far off. Um, that that one bugs me. Yeah, I think I'm probably the the like weird person in these kind of games where I don't need leveling up. I just need a fun game. Well, you're not weird because think about it. What's the number one game for the longest time on Board Game Geek recently? Gloomhaven. It has one of the worst leveling systems ever. It's the slowest game ever. It's like an RPG, which I also hate because it takes too long to level up. Like, that was my biggest criticism of, of Gloomhaven, and it's still not fixed to this day. Uh, fixed, quote-unquote. Look, it's number one game of all time, right? Like, everybody's got their own opinions, but... Well, I mean, it, they're making a second edition, which they, is like... that That's its own discussion we're not going to get into, which I have opinions on. Well, the fact there's no upgrade kit is, yes. But people are going to buy it, right? I mean... I love Isaac to death. He didn't make any money on the first couple of print runs of that game because he was selling it for a hundred dollars, right? <laughs> like he, like as much money as people think. And, and look, at this point, Isaac probably has done very well, um, you know, with subsequent printings and everything else he's done. But that first Kickstarter, even though he made a lot of money on it, he way undercosted it, um, and I'm sure made almost nothing on that. Um, I haven't asked them, like, you don't ask people how much they make. Right. But like, um, I know Isaac pretty well. And I mean, he knows that my, my thoughts on, on the game and look, a lot of people must have those same thoughts because he's redoing it. He's redoing the story and he's redoing like the mechanics to make it more interesting. Right. Like for first edition, like, you know, rebalancing or whatever else to make it more interesting. But did he fix that in Frosthaven? Huh? Did you fix those things in Frosthaven? I, so I don't know. I haven't, I've only played one mission of Frosthaven so far. Um, I was actually surprised Jerry bought it, honestly, because we stopped playing Gloomhaven a long time ago. Uh, the, I mean, honestly, the biggest problem with both of those games... Uh, let's see, I keep only pointing out the problems. People love these games, obviously. Um, but is is setup time was awful for those games, too. Um, now they fixed it with Jaws of the Lion with the map book, and that was great, but that's not out for Frost Haven or Gloomhaven. I mean, it used to take me over half an hour to set up for every scenario. It's just awful. Uh, that game is just awful to set up for. I think that's par for the genre, though. Like, that's not, there are definitely games that are way faster and better, uh, that you're probably attracted to, but I think that's like, that is the genre, right? But lots of stuff, lots right. of toys, a lot but, of minis. But going back to the beginning, the games I like are the ones that are fast. Fast to play, fast to set up, fast to level. Like that is my preferred way. Some people it's not filling enough for. I think Jerry might be one of those people, right? Where it's just like he wants more to each session. He wants them to be more epic. I want to do fun stuff quickly. Um, but that's personal preference. You know, um, I feel like Mike's like me. So for any of our games, there's never going to be a slow leveling curve. Like we have a dungeon crawl that we will hopefully be putting out within the next two, three years. Um, I mean, the game's done. We just need to figure out how to publish it. Like, 
in a in a way that is good for everybody. Um, we're actually talking to a graphic designer at Gen Con this year about that one. So we'll see. We'll see. But anyway. Um, but yeah, everything we do is going to be quick leveling. Like you're going to level up during the mission. You're going to level up after the mission. Like every mission, you're going to feel like you've leveled up. Um, that is important to me. And I think either Mike's has always felt that way or, um, you know, maybe because I push it so hard, he now feels that way as well. Yeah. I, I would love to see a dungeon crawl with no leveling up. Oh, that'd be awful. Uh, I think Hellboy actually doesn't have any leveling up, and that's probably one of my favorite ones. Okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, I just want fun game mechanics, right? Like, I uh, I know a lot of people associate dungeon crawling, but, like, the hot take is, you know, like, uh, like, all these, like, can you make a game that is not about leveling up. Oathsworn, is... you don't level up a lot, I don't think. Yeah. Um, and I like that one. But the mechanics are good enough in that one. That's the thing. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, can you make a game that's fun that doesn't rely on leveling up and then it's just fun enough to play because it's fun to play, you know? I. But you're... You're making those two things sound like they're opposites of each other. And I don't think that's true. I think you can have good mechanics with fun as well. Cause again, I think, Oh, the, for sure. The new battle um, group for Greyport does it again. I know our dungeon crawl. I love playing the game, but it's even cooler that you get to level up for me quickly. Right? Like it's not mutually exclusive. I don't think Gloomhaven's great because they have slow leveling. I think Gloomhaven's great in spite of their slow leveling. Sure. Uh, I guess I was just thinking of some of the discussions with like uh, Dagger versus Eldritch Horror and people are complaining about the leveling up system. In which one? In that game. Dagger. Compared to like, like you don't have the items and, and, and kind of those things that you get in Eldritch Horror. No, you have, I just played Dagger last night for the first time. Uh, so I don't even think most people have it yet, right? It's not even released yet. It's not released now. Yeah, so I played it last night. I mean, I have different problems with Dagger, but um, yeah, no, I, I didn't mind that you didn't level, but it's not that kind of game. It's not a dungeon crawl at all. Uh, I mean, think of it more like, I mean, I hate to say more like Pandemic, but you're kind of going around putting out fires. Um, similar to Pandemic, you have a certain number of actions. They're like move, attack, whatever. Um, it, it's very different than Pandemic. Obviously, there's dice rolling, things like that. I mean, even different than Defenders of the Realm. There's not really much leveling. There is some, though. Um, and you're leveling up powers. Like, you get this teamwork track that you can go up to, like, trigger your powers. Uh, you're going to have one card face up, one of your skills face up, one face down. You could do things to, like, refresh those. Um, so it's kind of like leveling because you only have one power at the beginning of the game. You could refresh the other one to get both of them. So you have both available to you. So I don't know. Um, it is not a game that needs leveling, though, because it's going to be like, I think we played in an hour and a half last night. So, and and you don't carry anything forward. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's got enough leveling. Let's put it this way. There's more leveling in that, in an hour and a half game of that, than there is an hour and a half game of Gloomhaven. Like, you're getting more stuff. Gloomhaven goes the opposite way. Like, you lose stuff as you go along, right? You lose cards that are one time per game use. You lose cards sure. that are, like, you know, as... I mean, there's there's different leveling systems, right? There's some where leveling only happens between sessions and ones where leveling happens during the session, right? Right. But that's I think those all are... campaign that you're talking about because... Well, yeah. I mean, you can't level between if it's not a campaign, right? And, yeah. and Dagger is not a campaign. People compared yeah. to Marvel Champions, I think only in the fact that you're attacking and thwarting, quote-unquote, uh, and you have the Well, I think it's aspects. because it has aspects in there. Yeah, uh, but it, it's nothing at all like Marvel Champions. I mean, it's all dice resolution, first of all. Let's start with that, <laughs> right? Like, you do a test, like your attack strength is three. That means you roll three dice, and you're looking for attack hit symbols. So, uh, yeah, Mike's got a playthrough yeah. of Dagger, if anybody wants to go check that out on our main YouTube channel. 
Um, yeah. I'm forming my thoughts on it still. I don't know if we're reviewing it this week or not. If Mike gets enough plays to get a review out for it and then passes it along to me, we will. If not, we're going to do Max Apocalypse, and then we'll review that one in two weeks. Um, actually, I don't even know what the embargo date for reviews is. We might not even be able to review it this week. Oh, no, that's a Stonemeyer thing. That's not a Fantasy Flight thing. Never mind. So, yeah, if I get more plays of Dagger, who knows? Maybe we'll get a review of it out this week. Yeah. I was even thinking in, like, Champions, like, I love Fast Heroes. Yep. Heroes like Nova and stuff where, like, you're not building out the board state or, like, you're Spider-Man, right, um, where you can just hit the ground running. And you know I'm the opposite. Although... I'm coming around, if only because I want shorter games. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I like them both, right? Like, I, I like having the choice and, and kind of that variety that it not everyone is a slow, you have to dump everything on the table, right? I think if you go Fast Heroes, you should probably go all Fast Heroes would be my, my take on that. Uh, I don't know about that. Like, I think there's something nice about Fast Heroes to help mitigate like, I think it's common to have fast heroes to help heroes. Like, I bring a Spider-Man deck at Con of Heroes because it helps every other hero build. Well, but that's protection, right? Or even Nova, right? Like, you're, you're handling threat, you're handling stuff on the board so other people can play expensive cards that may not have impact the turn it comes in, right? Sure. Makes sense. All right, Terrence, I am going to say goodnight now for real this time. Uh, everybody have a fantastic time. Great seeing everybody. Great chatting with everybody. And we will see you in a few weeks. Or we'll see you next week, right? Are you around? Yep. Yeah, I'll have to see if I'm around. We'll either um, get back to Marvel Champions or maybe we play another Lord of the Rings mission. We'll see uh, what mood we're in next week. So thanks again, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye, everyone.